Welcome back to my channel where I let you watch my autistic brain at work and also welcome to my first Inktober. I'm going to be focusing on Zentangles because I just recently learned about them and they're quite a lot like my coloring book and other artwork that I already do so I wanted to give it a whirl. I've done a few before now to get the general idea but otherwise this is going to be watching me learn how to do them. So let's see, I like, I like to do a lot of compass art, so I'm going to start with faking a compass without having a compass. Thankfully this is one of the skills I learned in my drafting classes. It's interesting. But now we switch to the actual ink. And in case anyone's wondering, uh, it's a Stettler 4H that I've used for my construction lines for most of my life. Uh, except when I was using mechanical 4H, and even that was a Stettler branded pencil, usually. Uh, white Crayola for halides, highlights, and uh, just a black friction for the actual ink part. I also have a super fine point sharpie that I might use for some of these. And I also have a finer point friction uh, 0.38 millimeter or 0 0.038 millimeter, whichever it is. Um, yeah. Um, and a bunch of colors that I might use for some of these. So, once we have our basic shape, the next step is to fill things in in interesting ways. So here I'm just going to do some hatching. Now the thing that makes it Zen Tangle is that it's supposed to be meditative. And you don't really bother thinking about what you're drawing. You just draw. And I really like that. So now I'm going to turn my hatching into some cross hatching. Also a uh, wonderful video I watched just last night said to uh, that there's no such thing as a mistake when you're making Zentangle. Um, my autistic brain argues otherwise, and so this is a uh, interesting for me seeing how my brain is going to deal with there are no mistakes like the one I just erased. <laughs> All right, um, let's do. I like doing curly cues. My coloring book is actually floral mandalas, but since then I've been doing a lot more curly cues in my work. I use them as vines in the book, but I just use them as all sorts of random things in other arts. Right now they're just swirls. They don't actually represent anything. They're just fun to draw. <laughs> and to draw badly, apparently. Well, I'm getting bored with those, so I'm going to start doing them the other way. Well, and now I'm just drawing number six instead of a swirl. Thank you. Interesting. That's not something I would accept if I was trying to uh, make an actual piece of art and not just having fun doodling. A 
Okay, now that one I really like. I'm gonna have to do some variations on that later. Now this is a popular one. They, uh, I think they call it pebbles. This is just circles of various sizes. I actually did uh, one of the greeting cards I made. I'm not sure whether I released or not. Was a heart made filled in with various circles. That one I ended up though instead switched to facets and made it like it was a gemstone. One of the shapes I'm planning to do probably a few times this month is my logo. Since it's already ma uh, made of nice sharp geometric lines it'll be interesting to fill. And uh, will also make my brain cringe a lot less than all the mistakes I'm making doing this are. <laughs> and there I go again. I started making them fairly uniform instead of random sizes. Which is a big part of why I'm doing this. Is I'm trying to get comfortable with doing random sizes. This is also not something, I don't think I ever did this in my coloring book or any of my coloring pages, which is fill in areas as black. I usually prefer to leave that to whoever's coloring it, but this is part of the holes and tangle thing, and now that I'm doing it, it is quite relaxing just filling in all these empty spaces. If you're a uh, I think he called it a hole filler on uh, Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, where he goes off on the people in the courtroom. He says one of them likes to do a little filling in the holes on all the letters on the paper he's writing on. And uh, I, too, am one of those, so. But here I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm filling in not the shapes, which is uh, an interesting experience. Some of these are a little too small for this pin. So I'll definitely have my smaller pins on hand next time. I'm also going to, near the, near the end of the month, I'm going to crack out my pastels to color some of these. Hmm. Once again, interesting. Now, what do we want to do here? I've always liked drawing flowers, ever since I was a kid. <laughs> Watch that one pretty good. around the flowers.
my uh, hand is starting to seize up, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, I am, because we are technically homeless right now and crashing with my parents, I may not be able to record every day, but I am going to do 30 of these this month and we'll post them all. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.